Howdy folks and welcome back once more to Let's Play Stone Prophet. Today, I mean, I guess we gotta do the obelisk, right? So we'll, we'll probably do that. I do want to finish mapping this area if possible. We also have to find somewhere to dump all of our crap. Because we have a lot of it. Realistically, I should probably drop it in Muhar. Cause that's kind of like our base of operations. All right, fuckers. I got hydration. Ugh. Oh, I missed. In that case, I got fire. Give me your experience points. Ow. Why you gotta hit a brother? Chunk is like, Chunk's face has very much a like disappointed dad look going on. He's like, really? You hit me, why? Is, is you call that a punch? I don't know. Are we looking on levels? Pretty bad. All right. Ractor is catched up. Ractor is catched up. Grammar. Impossible. I am thinking pretty strongly about flipping him back to the front row, though, admittedly. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Take me to Muhar. Yeah. There's there's things we have to do here. It was mentioned in the comments that this game apparently has like a good, a good, a goodometer to it. You have to do so many good acts or the game fucks you over. So we should be doing those. One of the good acts is giving this knife back. Another is... Uh, helping Glorinthia, the Undead Paladin. We will be doing that eventually, just by way of playing the game. Uh, and then the last is giving Piotr his dagger, which I'm going to put off for as long as humanly possible. At least I'm going to put it off until I find another plus three weapon, basically. Is he in here? Yes, that's Piotr right there. Piotr can sit in here and be sad. There we go, now we know where he is. Okay. But, there's another thing. Since apparently doing good things, good deeds, is, is what we need to do. I know there's an NPC here somewhere. It's like a woman looking for her husband, and he's... I don't remember where he is out in the desert. But he's like, buried in the sand. Oh, hey! A bunch of oils of fiery burning. All right. Okay. This right here. This looks like a supply shack. So that's what this is going to be. We have an entire bag full of Yog Tom's ointments. We have so many fucking healing potions. Good God. All right. These, I have to be careful because if I... If I throw them, they'll explode. But I suppose I don't actually care, do I? These would actually be good for fighting trolls. Alright. It's just all this crap. Just all of it. Look at how much... There's like three of them on here. What are they preparing me for? I know that there are things in this game that poison me, but like, holy shit. Okay, just look at this. And now I worry like, is it safe to put a bunch of shit down on the map? Or will it like error out? I don't know, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna be hoarding healing potions till the end of time. This is like, this is absurd. We've got like 14 of them, 15 of them just sitting in our inventories. And then another eight. This is like some fucking... Um, oh God, what was the name of that module? Uh, like Red Hand of Doom. This is some like Red Hand of Doom shit. In that module, your primary enemy was hobgoblins, and they like all had healing potions on them. 
And so you'd end up with just shitloads of like potions of cure light wounds and stuff. All right, so there's this. I'm gonna save. Just crashes the game. Okay, and I'm gonna note. It's a fly tent. So now we know that's where I have all of my everything. It's like, I appreciate having healing potions, but like, good lord. Oh, hello. Oh, are you the beggar? Alms for the poor. Alms for the poor old man. Come now. A cup of water? A coin? A biscuit? Come now. You can spare these things. Increase the worth of your soul. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we have nothing for you. We brought barely enough supplies for ourselves. A cruel remark? Have you no pity? Pain is my only friend. Rich traveler, the world is yours. All the joys of life lie before you. Even in Harakir, a villager will part with a biscuit. For a poor old man. I would not wish my pain upon you. My bones twisted, my flesh rough as stone. Since the days my life began. No, I would not wish this upon you. Uh... Yeah, no, we, we, we just leave. Neither of those responses matter. We can actually help this guy. Um, I believe... I think it's... There's a point in this game where you basically get a wish. And you can use it to do stuff like... You can make yourself immune to poison... And a couple other things, but I know one of the things you can do is... It's, it's like help someone... And it doesn't specify two, but if I recall correctly, it helps him. All right, what do we got? Scrolls, magic missile, and a magic missile. Is this also? Yes, okay. Just making sure it's actually magic missile and just not the screen being weird. Okay. I know. I know that there is a person in one of these fucking huts that we can talk to. Oh. Man, ooh, blur. Blur's good. Oh, what else do we have? Armor, also useful, although we apparently already have it. Back in the day! Oh, uh, before I go off on another back in the day, I went looking... I think I mentioned last episode that there was, in, in Beck Me D&D, there was Cure-All and there were Heal Spells. Cure-All cure was a Cleric spell and it functioned as Heal. Like, like anybody would know who's played like first or second edition, so it like, it would restore you of all of your health less, like I think a D6. Heal was actually a wizard spell that mimicked Cure-All. Cure all was a seventh level spell, but heal was ninth. Fun fact. May we speak with you? Hospitality seems as rare as the spring rain in this land. If you would have kind words, then join with me in asking the gods to spare my husband. If you do not care for such prayers, then you have no business here. Unless he returns soon. I shall have no need of words. Kind of. Kind or otherwise. Um. Your distress troubles us. What might we do to help? Leave. Go quickly and trouble me no more. The villagers believe you bring the storms upon us. That you cause the disease which steals the flesh from our bones. Your presence here may turn them against me. Now please. If but the icy heart of a lizard rests within your breast, let it take what pity it can. Leave me be! Lady, it's not gonna be us that makes the villagers hate you. 
Okay, so she mentioned her husband being gone. I know he's outside of town someone somewhere. So we're going to go and find him. Which based on mapping. I don't know we've we've mapped pretty well unless it's to the southwest. I want to go actually pester that ghost. Now that we have Tekken's. I don't know if we actually have to have this equipped or not. Okay, we. Yeah. I think this will make her stick around. Hello, ghost. Yeah. Oh, they didn't even play it. That's a shame. I believe she's telling us more than the fate of her son. Ah, uh, falls to the east in a giant or stone of some kind, awaiting her son's name. What could it all mean? I think that lets us get into the Sphinx. And her son's name is obviously Taken. It's like, I don't know why the audio cuts out sometimes on their voices like that. To my recollection, was not an issue in my original playthrough. I don't know. I assure you all, we ain't missing much. Okay. We are walking, and we are walking, and we are walking. Okay. Sphinx. Bruh. I have a name for you. I don't know if it's the one we need, though. You have a ritual. Know you the answer to the riddle. There is the eye, the eye, and the eye. Those who know the answer may pass. Yet none shall pass, for the secret is lost to men. Go then, to solve the riddle. Let your footfalls echo in my memory. Run away. Okay, apparently we don't have it. And that's not what that's to. Shit. Alright. I have... I have fucked about enough. Do we have... We do not have a teleport to the uh, the obelisk, sadly. Oh, there's some loot down here, though. I like loot. Anything good. Oh, Mage Scroll of Death Spell. Hell yeah. And some more potions of healing. Alright, all right. what else you got out here for me, game? Do some, some terrain lawn mowing here. I was like that in like um, like the old Might and Magic games. One of my favorite things to do was like clear the maps. Oh, oh, well, hello there. Cleric scroll of heal. Holy shit. Blue robe. Is it magical? Actually, yes, it is. Uh... I mean, have at it, chunk. Cleric scroll create water. Chunk's like running around like a ninja in his underwear. Ridiculous, but whatever. It's mostly just to save the weight, although realistically in his case it doesn't matter. Cause he has he is strong like bull. Alright. Oh shit, what's this? Oh, is this to Ken right here? Fuck off, dude, like, Ice Storm. And verily, he did not fuck off. And for his hubris, got an Agonizer Scorcher. Are you to Ken? As the ghost said, here he stands, a statue awaiting her sweet son's name. To Ken, I say, I command you with the name of her son, to Ken. Mm, nothing is happening. 
I'm certain the name Tekken is a part of this puzzle, though apparently not the whole. Yeah, we need, um, we need a chain. And we attach that to it, and it, um, opens that. I don't actually remember what dungeon this is. Probe. Ah, Royal Burial Hall. Alright. This is just water. Yes. Okay. I'm glad I was distracted by wanderings. No, I'm not fighting you, you stupid tornado. Fucking Dust Devils, man. This and Dark Sun. Both of them. Dust Devils for days. Alright. We got, um... Hands doing the whole praise thing. Uh, let's go ahead and hands. Again, I do not recall this either. This game has a fair few dungeons to it. Hello, birdies. Way you go. Also stabbings. All right, good talk. Let's let us continue our. Our passage south. Oh, oh. Ooh, all right. I want detect magic going. Are those slippers? Oh, it's the gauntlets of dexterity. Hell yeah. Robe. Non magical. Non magical. Okay, so yeah, what are these? What do these do? Is it 18? Yeah. So is it 18 or just a bonus? Who's got a shit dex? Robe? No, you have a 19. Hell. Negative 2 AC. Rektor, you are looking real tempting for the front row there, buddy. Real damn tempting. I think for the time being, though, I'm going to give him a chunk, though. I'm not like it'll be nice to have Rektor in the front. I think that is where he is destined. But not yet. Okay, so I think we can only go so so much further south here before we start bumping into the end of the world. I was gonna say yeah. Whoa! All right, those are man scorpions. Man scorpions, we have to be careful. These guys will poison you. And while we are carrying a ton of Kyog Tom's ointments, I would really rather not waste them. If I recall correctly, there's a dungeon later in the game where you have to fight a bunch of these things and you can't just circle strafe to victory around them, sadly. Bro. Bro. Go down. Good lord. Alright. You know, just a couple of man scorpions. It's a random encounter. Man! I miss sometimes I miss the the old random encounter tables where you'd be like like fucking about in like the mountains right and the majority of the things would be like oh you know mountains and hills so this could be like goblins hobgoblins maybe like some gnolls and then there will be like the the one and the 20 result on the table and one will be like 7d 50 stone giants and the 20 will be like an ancient great weirm red dragon and it's like beholder cohort or something just absolutely absurd stuff just totally crazy like I, I i don't know there were a lot of dragon encounters in like older editions of DD. &D. in older editions of DD, &D, well first edition and basic slash beck me dragons weren't as individually ferocious they were still very very dangerous but they weren't like dragons in the later editions. so like you could have like a low level party fight a dragon like a wyrmling or whatever and it would be okay hey buddy a heartbeat a breath the sounds of life enter these empty halls i greet you my thoughts have scratched and turned within this place Empty and alone now for so long. The only sound has been the sigh of the storms beating against the outer walls. Ah, so wonderful 
the sense of mortal flesh. You have come as the prophecy foretold. I'm very appreciative of the the censoring smoke. Ghostly creature, be on your guard. Of what interest is the scent of our flesh? Oh, no harm, no harm to buy off. The stones are holes, the dust dry. The aura of mortal flesh awakens me. Reminds me how long it has been since I became guardian of the stone prophet. It has been my charge to await a time when mortals would approach these stones and attempt to understand them. In obedience to that mission, I seek you. After me, I shall forever fade away. You speak of the stones, these strange markings at your back. Might you read them for us? Mortal arrogance! With what ease do you expect the fate to prepare your path? It shall not be, for my work is my work, and the knowledge you seek is not mine to give. The writings of the Prophet reach back, far, far back, into a dawn we cannot know. Gentle rains have worn the mountains down, and streams have turned to seas since the days of the prophecy. An age and an age and an age has passed. Year All right, a lot of time. I got you, buddy. Uh, perhaps the writings, perhaps the writings on the stone are why we have been led to this place. How might these writings be understood? You have come far, and so you must understand this. Courage and daring alone might reveal the secret of the stone problem. By this I mean that you must travel deep within the others and search them out, these secrets. Three levels rest within each more difficult than the last. That you have come this far means you have the power to fulfill the prophecy. But be warned, having the power to do something and being destined to do it are two different things. These stones, do they speak of Octopot? The fate of Parakir does not rest with Octopot alone. True, his role is great. Power frightening to behold, yet all is not as it seems. A great responsibility has imposed itself upon you, for all those trapped within Harakir suffer. Their fate and yours are bound together, linked by the chains of fate. Only as you succeed might they live. Only in obeying the words of the Stone Prophet might you survive and in time, return to your beloved home. Alright. The stones reveal the history of this land, Harakir. The stone prophet concerns itself with the end of things, not with their beginnings. Know you not the age of this land? What wall might hold such history? Mountains would cower before it. The sky might break against its heights. Were I to recount the tale of Harakir, no mortal life would be long enough to hear it. One last question before we part. The blind seer who led us to this place, will she make her way safely home? Worry not, for that one has served her purpose. You have yet to do as much. Yes, she shall return safely to her home, and more than that, I shall not say. Fare you well in the way ahead. Though the fate of Harakir rests with you, I shall not know the outcome. Having honored my charge to stand as ward and await your arrival, I go now to my rest. Never again. Shall my voice be heard within these ancient halls? All right, so this. My recollection is just a substitution cipher that we'll eventually figure out. However, Chunk, being a thief of at least fourth level, I believe, should have the ability to decipher this. It is literally a thief ability to read and comprehend, like, languages and stuff. But no, instead, bullshit. 
All right, what do we got in here? Ointment. Ooh, flame arrow, hell yeah. That's exciting. What else do we have? Oh, a lock, can we pick it? Look at that. There's even a sound effect. Lads and lasses, we in 20... Oh wait, no, this is like 1996. Oh, I told y'all that there was a fucking dungeon with ma with man scorpions in it. I guess it's this one. I thought it was later in. Explains why they gave us the ointment at the beginning. Oh my god, forgot about the voice acting. Die by my blade, mortal. Dude, you're a fucking anthropod. Is that what a scorpion is? They're not arachnids. You're fucking bug man, you dick. So I have to know, he has a negative two. Does magic vestment actually do anything? The Trajan cat. Can we pump that AC up? No, we cannot. Good to know. I bet it would. Mm, I don't know if it would do anything to rack tour. Hmm, I know it affects Chunk, though. He has zero AC now, I think. Negative two! All right! Chunk for once having a respectable AC. What is this life? And it still does not matter because enemies just hit you. As with all D&D games, it doesn't matter what your AC actually is when the enemies don't actually roll to hit it. It's all placebo effect. All right, so we have a portal there. Let's see what else we have. Be careful not to get lightning bolted. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's a bunch of portals. What do they mean now? Oh Lord, he coming. Oh, eat lightning bolt, you stupid shit. So you'll note that they have two different attack animations, and depending on the... Oh, no, actually, take that back. I guess they don't have two different attack animations. Um, when they hit us and we take damage, there are two different colors. Oh, kill him. Yeah! There are two different colors of, like, damage splat, and when it's a green one, that means that there's an attack that can poison us. The game throwing us a bone. Come on. Okay. Oh, regret. Oh, somehow it didn't hurt me. All right, victory. Dead? No, oh my god. Eat street, dude. I know there's one behind me, yeah. I need flame arrows. Flame arrows will solve all of my problems. Look at all of them, there's like 30 of them in here. I saw at least three. Wow, Rector actually hit something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat Street. I know there's one to the right. Maybe not. Maybe I... I'm not crazy. The game's crazy. What do we got here? Carry up to proof against poison. Do we, we have to hold it, though. It can stay in the inventory, I guess. Hello. I gotta say Fireball's doing some work. I think Flame Arrow's probably gonna be better, though. These spell AoEs are just, like, a travesty. Kona Cold's fucking shit up, though. Maestral Featherfall. I'm pretty sure he already has that. Yeah, you may go. Well, that was... disappointing. Alright, no more fireballs. Go with the flame arrows. Uh, otherwise, I think he's good. Hit... I'm gonna have you actually swap out a Cure Serious for a Neutralized Poison. 
just to be safe. And we'll have another nap. Go ahead and rebuff real quick. What happens if I hit Rector? Rect Rack Tour. Negative four. Yeah, that's that's it's pretty freaking solid, I will say. Yeah man. Yeah man. There we go. Alright, fully buffed, ready to kick some ass, and on that note. And we'll go ahead and call it here. So as usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you all had a good time. And I will see you all next time we're in the obelisk. Until then. Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series. See if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. Be the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.